Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought I would do a vlog for you on my favourite things in the whole entire world and that is shoes. If you love shoes, please please subscribe to my channel. That is the majority of what you'll be seeing, um, especially luxury. So today I'm going to go through my top five luxury shoes um, and everything that I love about them and how much I wear them and a little bit about the shoe as well. Um, this is going to be in no particular order really so it's just my top five shoes that I'm absolutely loving at the moment and that I've had the most wear out of. Um, also taking into account things like comfort as well. So I'm going to start off where it all began which is my Brian Atwood shoe. This here is my Brian Atwood shoe. Um, it's the pony hair one and I got this maybe like I'm gonna say four maybe even five years ago and this was my first luxury shoe. I got this in the Harrods sale and I think originally this shoe was meant to be £600, something like that, and it was down in the Harrods sale to £250, um, and I remember I ordered them online, and I was just so excited um, to see them. When they came, I was like a kid in a candy shop, like they were my first luxury shoe. I got them out, and they are just, they're so classic, um, they've obviously, because I've had them the longest as well, I've had so much wear out of them. Um, the sole needs doing and the studs need doing. So these I will be taking to Harrods to get sorted out because they have been on all types of terrain and they have ruined slightly. Um, also the, the, the pony hair has worn slightly um, on the tip. Um, I'll just show you a quick close up. You can see there the detail of the pony hair, you can see the tip um, is just slightly ruined. This is what the inside looks like round onto that heel. So yeah, these have just been one of my favourite. Because of the colour, because of the style, they're classic, they go with everything and they're just my go-to shoe. They're also not too bad comfort wise. So I wore these to um, the ballet up in London didn't pack any other shoes like with all the others that I'm going to show you bar one I will always take a pair of flats because I know that someone will end up getting so annoyed with me because I'll be walking like a snail um but these don't and these I just can't really speak highly enough about these and it makes me think actually these are the only pair of Brian Atwood heels that I have and well I need to get some more because it's just they have been trust, my good old trusty shoe that I am obsessed with. I'm also really good at taking care of my shoes when it comes to like storing them and stuff. So you may, if you've seen other of my videos, you'll know that I keep them all in their boxes. Um, with the dust bags, everything, um, they're never just left out. If I come in from a night out, I have to clean them, like the inside and stuff. So they always look pretty flawless like they've not been worn on the inside where I've cleaned them just with some wipes um, and yeah these, these are my first shoes this is what started it all off for me and I love them okay my second shoe is a Le Bouton shoe um, I have done a video all about whether I think Christian Louboutin shoes are worth the investment. So I will leave that link below if you want to have a read. Um, I have quite a few pairs, but this pair for me is my pet, my kind of go-to pair. This They're comfortable, well, as comfortable as I suppose they can get um, without being flat. They're comfortable. Again, they're really classic, a really elegant shoe. They go with a lot of things. Um, the red just with this colour works. Um, this is actually, oh my god, right, so, again, if you've seen my videos, you will know I've got a problem with suede. Like, all my shoes pretty much are suede. I just am drawn to it, and I don't know why, because I know that that material is the hardest to maintain. I know that they just ruin so easily, but all of my shoes in my top five are a material other than this one which is a leather 
So this is my only sensible material one. All the others are either leather or the ones I've just shown you. Uh, sorry, all the others are suede other than the ones that I just showed you, which were the pony hair. So these ones for me are my shoe that I know I can wear and not worry too much about the condition because outside because I know that they can wipe clean a lot more easily than the others. It is a light material so again any kind of marks would show up on these but just a lot easier to to maintain. So I'm just going to show you these up close. So here they are. They've got the T-bar which I love. It's, I just find that T-bar so classic and elegant. That's the heel height but again it's got a little min mini hidden platform. And then the classic sole with the heel. And I've worn these quite a lot. So I think this is not too bad damage wise. I have worn these uh, to maybe outdoors on about five or six different occasions. Indoors I've worn them more. But I've worn them up in London a few times. So this is kind of just a standard thing that you're gonna gonna get with the Louboutins but when you're wearing them people can't see that they can just see this lovely untouched red um, and yeah I bought these are actually my only pair of luxury shoes that I bought off someone else all the others I've bought first hand but these ones were second hand I mentioned this in my other Louboutin video where I featured these but I bought these off the blogger and vlogger um, I am Chiquette and I just know I can trust her. She's probably one of the only people, like luxury bloggers, because you know them and you know that they love their luxuries, I feel like you can trust that it's real. And although these didn't come with the original box, because she doesn't store hers like I store mine, she's got the most gorgeous wardrobe where all her shoes are just on display. So she had another box which she gave them, but it's still a Louboutin box, so they are kept in there and yeah I've just loved these and these are the type of shoe whenever I wear these out people comment all the time like these ones will always get noticed. Next up is um, a pair of Manolo Blahniks. Um, sorry if I'm saying any of these differently to how you would say it. Um, that's just how I've been taught to say it. I don't know if it's right or wrong but anyway um, so these are not quite my Carrie Bradshaw shoes but similar um, with the classic navy. Now this shoe I think is called their BB Court shoe. I love it so much that I've got it in a few different colours. Um, the navy was the pair that I bought first. This was the original colour and then I've added to the collection. So this is kind of my classic shoe again very elegant very streamlined looks good it with trousers with a skirt with a dress and the navy means that it goes with loads of colors but i especially love wearing these with white i just think they look so sophisticated and elegant and actually i wore these for my parents 25th wedding anniversary and i wore it with a navy gant dress and together the two of them oh it's like my favorite outfit ever i'll insert um i'll insert a picture here so you can see but yeah i just love these they've had a lot of wear as you can see again they are a few years old now anyway and also i got mud on the heel this is where i'm so bad because i took these out for a blog shoot i just I'm one of these people, I get something in my head, a bit like this video, and I'm just like, right, I've got to do it now, like, this is what I want to do. And I I wanted to go and shoot the bluebell fields in the summer, and I thought, oh my god, these shoes will look so pretty with the bluebells. Didn't think about it, and then my poor suede heel got slightly muddy. So again, I'm going to take these to go and get all cleaned up. Once again, I'll show you close up. So... As you can see, we've got this lovely suede material. You can see the inside. This is meant to make it, this heel is meant to make it easier to balance on and walk on. Um, 
it's a new style that they do apparently. You've got the nice heel, the little back. And yeah, so that is my Manolo Blanix. And these have just had probably after the Brian Atwoods, these are probably my second most worn over the years because I've had these a little while now um, and love them. Okay, the next shoe that I want to show you has been my most worn lately. So I've probably had these maybe four or five months and they are the Gucci fringed um, Marmont pumps. I, again, have been slightly silly with this because not only have I got it in a really light colour, I've also got it in suede, again. Um, so, because I have worn them so much, there are little black marks on them and signs of wear. But these are just... Oh my gosh. I am obsessed with these shoes. I like them with my jeans. I like them with a dress. Like, my idea with these is that with a lovely crisp white dress at like Wimbledon or something or at some kind of summer function with a nice tan and then these, I mean the colour, I mean the camera's not even doing the colour of these justice, they're like a powder pink and they just pop, they're so beautiful, They with this gold detail they just look stunning and I actually want to get the belt to match this, that's on my wish list for next month. Um, but I went to Harrods the other day and the pink is not quite as nice as the pink in the shoe so I wish they'd have done it exactly to match because I love this colour so much. Um, they're much more comfortable, they're still high, there's no platform, hidden platform here so if you think about that little slope it's still quite a lot however the block heel makes them much more comfortable and much easier to walk in these shoes don't rub anywhere but it's just if you wear them for a long period of time it's just this part that hurts me so right on the ball of the foot where my foot's at an angle for such a long time that's the only thing that will hurt me they don't rub in any other way i'll show you once again these up close I mean, this fringing, oh my gosh, my partner hates these. I mean, I think they're the type of shoes that boys will not like, but a girl that loves her shoes will definitely appreciate how these are made. If I show you inside and from the back. He calls them uh, my king shoes because he thinks this looks like um, King Henry VIII style. Um, so yeah, these are just so easy to wear, although they are going to mean that I need to pay to get them properly cleaned. Um, I've worn them loads and this part is still in really good condition. You can see the bottoms aren't too bad, um, but I have worn these around London, so a filthy place and they're still not bad at all. So, coming on to my final pair, and this is where my vlog first started because these shoes got me so excited that I got my vlogging camera out and I thought, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share this with YouTube, my excitement for these shoes, and that is the Chanel Slingback. Um, I will leave my story about these down below because there is a big story to these and how hard these were to get my hands on. However, Oh my god, I'm just so happy I got them. Once again, I was a bit silly. I wanted the suede instead of the leather and now I'm thinking the leather probably would have worked out better for my money because they don't get dirty as easily. Like already I've got a few little marks and I've only worn these in London or I have worn them actually twice in London. And when I'm wearing them in London, because of the colour as well, I literally am so conscious of my feet. Like the whole time I was at Waterloo Station and I was like ready to pounce on anyone that came near my feet. I was like, get, get off, get off. Do you know how much these cost me? Uh, which I know is crazy. It's just a pair of shoes, Emma. But I just love shoes so much that this is, it's kind of like my hobby. And these for me, just so elegant, so classy. They're a classic shoe that I just know I can have forever. They're also, because of the style, 
they're the kind of shoe that at first I I don't think people are sold on them they're like mm, they're a bit grandma shoe but when you wear them and the more you see them and you style them with outfits they are so chic and so elegant and they are just my absolute like my number one shoe like I think they're also my most expensive shoe but these are I just don't think I'll ever have a pair of shoes that I'll love as much as I love these. The height means that they're comfortable. Only thing I would say about these, which I've noticed, is if you wear them with tights, this bit is a pain in the ass. Like, it slides down, and I spent whole of London, like, trying to pull these back up all the time. Um, and I, the first time I wore them was with tights, and I thought that was just how they were, and I was like, oh my god, that's so annoying. However... I've worn them since without tights and actually they don't do that. I, I wore them on Christmas Day, I think, actually, um, without tights and they just didn't budge. So just be aware of that. Um, also, actually, I need to mention sizing to you because these all vary slightly. Let me quickly just show you these up close because you will see the true beauty of these. So you can see the suede, you can see that they're a little bit marked already, I don't know if you can, can you see there? So I need to get some suede, I do protect all of mine with a suede protector, but these ones just, um, they do need to be brushed up. I'm just a bit scared to do them so I think I'll take them somewhere to have them all brushed up. And the inside, I mean... Just look at how these have been made up close. I mean, they're like a work of art. I love them. So yeah, that's that's my shoe collection. Um, so just really quickly, I got these in a 37. Um, on the high street, I'm a 38, but I've got very narrow feet, so I do vary. So these ones were 37. All my other ones were 37 and a half, apart from my uh, apart from my Brian Atwoods which are a 38 so everything else is 37 and a half apart from these which is 37 these which is 38 um so i really hope you enjoy my video like i said please subscribe if you enjoy this kind of thing and luxury videos i'm getting a ring light which i'm so excited about so hopefully my next video will be very good quality for you um and hit the like button if you enjoyed i'll see you again soon bye <laughs>